Today we're gonna do a new discoveries video. These are the videos that I like to share all of the skincare that's been on my radar for the last couple of months that's kind of percolated to the top that is actually worth being on your radar. Many, many years ago, I used to go into Barnes & Noble and I would grab Allure and Self and Marie Claire. I would grab all the magazines and I would sit and I would pour over Anything that was on the editor's radar, I was interested in all of the new things coming out. That's what these videos are meant to be like. That's the inspiration for these videos. It is not about buying everything that's in this video. It's more about just learning about what's out there, what's interesting, what new ingredients, what technology, all of that kind of stuff. So I hope that that is how you watch these videos. If you're new here, my name is Penny. I'm a master esthetician. I absolutely love this kind of stuff. I love skincare so much. If you are into skincare, this is the place for you. I hope you will subscribe before you go. And if you're a current subscriber, thank you so much for being here. Okay, so let's start with some essences and that kind of thing. I was recommended, or it was recommended in my Facebook group, this Soothing Moisture Skin Essence from the brand Jin Jung Soon. I'm probably mispronouncing that, so I apologize. This is kind of like a watery jelly essence. It is packed with good ingredients. It's got a really beautiful texture. It's a little bit different than anything else I own, and it layers really, really well with the rest of my skincare. What I really like about this is that it is very hydrating to the outer layer of the skin, and it leaves it very bouncy and bright and hydrated with zero greasy residue whatsoever. I really, really can tell that I hydrated my skin, and I know that I'm feeding a bunch of great ingredients, and I just really, really like it. My friend Blanca in my private Facebook group was talking about it, singing its praises, and then a bunch of other people chimed in, and I knew that I needed to order it, and it definitely did not disappoint. I do have some other things um, coming from this brand and I will definitely report back. If you have any K-Beauty or J-Beauty recommendations, definitely leave them down below because I'm going to be doing a bunch of content around that. This is one of those things that I'm really excited about. If you've tried this, comment down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts as well. Next, we're gonna talk about Verso. Now, this is a brand that I think should be on your radar because they are innovative in the way that they have created a molecule around vitamin A that is different than most anything else on the market. What they have done is they have taken tretinoin or retinoic acid molecule, which is an active form of vitamin A, and they've combined it with retinol, which is, of course, inactive vitamin A, and they've made a new molecule that they're calling Retino-8. Now, that is in a bunch of their products, and I bought a bunch of things from the brand because I'm really, really interested in that science, and as far as I can tell, they are one of the only brands, along with Medicaid, that it uses that technology and it's really super interesting the idea that you can apply this new molecule to your skin and that active part it breaks apart the active part goes right to work and the inactive starts to convert and is gently working you know kind of like time release uh, vitamin A in your skin the whole thing is super interesting to me and I want to put that on your radar but one of the best products from the line that I got was their micellar water, which is funny because this is one of the things that actually doesn't have that molecule that I was just telling you about. This one actually is a run-of-the-mill micellar water, but it uses curcumin. That is turmeric. Turmeric is a really interesting ingredient in skincare because it can brighten the skin. It also is anti-inflammatory, it's antimicrobial, that kind of thing. It's a beautiful ingredient to see in skincare and I especially like it in a micellar water. I love to take this, I've been using this for quite a while now, and I love to take it and I put it on these cotton rounds that I get at Target and these, I've shared these before, but they are some of the best cotton rounds ever. And one side of them is smooth, and then the other side, you probably can't tell, but the other side is textured. And what I will do is I will actually take this and I saturate this cotton pad, and I use it to do kind of like a facial massage. And then I might use the textured side, you know, maybe down the center of my face for a little bit of exfoliation so beautiful. The, the way that I use my solar water is a couple. Sometimes if I wore no makeup all day and all I had on was sunscreen, it actually could be my only cleanse. And I know some people aren't gonna like that, but sometimes I do that. 
I also can use this as a pre-cleanse before I go in with a second cleanse. Love it that way as well. I also like to use this sometimes in the morning if I do feel like I need to wash my face but I don't really want to wash my face, I will go ahead and use a micellar water and I really love it that way. I feel like it's refreshing, makes me feel kind of like I can start my day because sometimes if I don't cleanse my skin, I feel like I started in the middle somewhere and I don't feel fresh. And so I've been really, really enjoying this. What I want on your radar is the brand Verso because I think they're super duper interesting. And I also want you to look into that retino molecule because I think that that is so innovative and so interesting and I think a lot of you might be interested like me in that science. So that is the brand Verso. There will be more coming on this brand. I'm definitely going to share the other things that contain that retinoate molecule. I will share those later after I've had a little more time to use them and kind of assess the efficacy and stuff, but worth being on your radar in general. Okay, next I'm going to share with you kind of a one-two punch that I've been using for the body recently. Recently, it's been pretty recent, but I've been on the hunt for an affordable kind of body care routine that I could share because I'm always sharing my one skin body and I'm also always sharing my dermatology um, body exfoliator these days. And I know I've talked about the Gold Bond um, moisturizer, but I really wanted to have some options that were affordable that would also make a difference ingredients wise that, um, you know, wouldn't break the bank. Okay. So what I found and what I've been using is this body serum from Good Molecules. I did not know that Good Molecules even had a body serum. If you're not familiar, this is a drugstore brand. You can find it at Ulta. You can also find it at um, Beautylish, and it's pretty affordable. This one has panthenol in it, which is the B5 part. That is going to be really hydrating, but also really, really good for your barrier function. It's a great ingredient. This one also has glycerin, which is going to hydrate your skin and help to moisturize your skin, help to give you more of that suppleness to that outer part of your skin. This one also has polyglutamic acid. Now that is also a humectant that is supposed to be even more hydrating than hyaluronic acid. So you've got all of these great things in here that are going to really hydrate the tissue. Sometimes when you do that though, you really, to get the most benefit out of it, you want to lock that in with something that is an occlusive. You want to really trap all of those good things so that they don't evaporate back out of the tissue. What I've been locking it in with is this Coco Radiant from Vaseline. Now this is like six bucks and it's an interesting product. It is a body oil. Now this one uses mineral oil and I know some people are going to be like, what? Well, it's, it's cosmetic grade mineral oil. And because it's being used on the body, the way that I see this as a massive plus is that it's just an occlusive. It is going to go on the skin. It's going to provide some outer kind of radiance because of the oil. And then it's also going to lock in everything good that was in this good molecules. So this little one, two punch that I've been doing just this summer recently has really helped to hydrate my skin, but then lock in that hydration and they're super duper affordable. So those of you who have been asking me for more affordable body care products, this has got your ingredients in it that are really, really great for you. And this is going to help really inexpensively lock them in. It does have a scent. It does have perfume in it. So if you're not into that, you won't like it. It is definitely that typical cocoa summer scent. It's pretty mild. It's not super duper um, offensive or anything like that, but it's definitely there. Really, really, really been liking this little one-two combo and it's been providing a nice hydration for the skin. Okay, next we're going to talk about the brand Dear Lucy. This is actually a Canadian indie brand and this is their one and only product and it is a superstar. This is actually my second bottle. I bought both of those bottles. This is my second one and so it may not seem quite like a new discovery because I've been using this for a couple months. You will see this in an upcoming favorites video as well. This is an absolute absolutely glorious product. When people ask me what I've been using for vitamin C derivatives, this is the main one that I have been using. Now, the thing about this one is that it is a, um, a vitamin C serum, but it's much, much more than that. It is packed with antioxidants, but it also has in it arbutin. Now, arbutin is something that's going to help with pigment. And I really love the combination of the antioxidants and the vitamin C derivatives along with arbutin to help 
help to lighten unwanted pigment. The way that Arbutin works is very similar to hydroquinone. It essentially is a tyrosinase inhibitor. And that means that it kind of gets in the way of melanin production so that excess melanin isn't able to come to the surface with you know the, our cells as they march to the surface and reveal themselves. So Arbutin is absolutely beautiful, especially along with vitamin C. Vitamin C is going to go in there and it's going to help to mop up reactive oxygen species and really help with um, antioxidant protection, of course. And then our butin is going to help to block excess pigment production. So you really are going to be able to see a more refined and a more bright complexion. This is super cool too, because it's an indie Canadian brand and I live probably six hours south of the Canadian border and yet it is like it could be the moon as far as you know the products that we're able to get and the products they're able to get and so I'm super excited to support a Canadian brand and bring it to you here and show you here. It's almost like a lotion consistency. See right here. It's a very very silky and hydrating and soaks right into the skin and leaves behind just a nice soft glow. It is absolutely beautiful. The ingredient deck is super impressive and it is one of those things that I definitely think should be on your radar and um, I'm just, I'm really impressed by it. And like I said, you're going to see it in an upcoming favorites because it is a new discovery in the last few months, but I've been using it long enough and I've gone through a whole bottle and repurchased that I already know how much I love it. So that is Dear Lucy. Next, I wanted to share with you if you are somebody who likes summer friday's jet lag mask this is a mask that has a bunch of lipids in it and it is absolutely beautiful for being an occlusive that helps to trap in moisture and hydration etc recently elf launched their pure skin moisturizer this is actually an interesting alternative, if you ask me, to this Summer Fridays mask. It has, you know, the same ceramides and the same other ingredients that are going to help with your barrier function. And this is not a great moisturizer, in my opinion. It doesn't really soak into the skin well. It doesn't really... It just doesn't do that good of a job as an actual moisturizer. I found that it kind of pilled under sunscreen but it is an absolutely fantastic mask. So if you are somebody who likes this Summer Fridays mask, but you don't wanna pay that much money, and they're about the same size, only this is a, a fraction of the cost, you can actually use this in a larger quantity as a beautiful moisturizing mask and then remove it just the same way that you would the Summer Fridays jet lag. So that is something else that I wanted to put on your radar. It's almost like an affordable alternatives but it's you know something that is new from the brand e.l.f. Let's talk about a supplement. This is an interesting supplement that I think a lot of people are gonna appreciate. This is Burst Oral Probiotics. I picked this up, I don't even know how this came onto my radar. I'm sure it was advertised to me on Amazon or something like that. But basically what this is, is you take one or two of these a day and it helps to keep the microbiome in your mouth right and it helps with breath and it really really does i mean it's pretty incredible i actually am taking one of these at night i do my whole brush my teeth floss my tongue scraping the whole thing and then i dissolve one of these that are like a lozenge i dissolve one in my mouth and i kid you not i don't wake up with the same morning breath as normal i mean we all can have morning breath i mean let's let's not kid around here nobody is really immune from that this seriously changes everything because it's doing something to the actual microbiome, the bacteria in your mouth. So if you're somebody who struggles with, you know, breath, if that is something that has, you know, plagued you or bothered you or whatever, this is definitely worth just looking into. I actually have this toothbrush, the Burst toothbrush. That might be how this got advertised to me. But this says it at 6 billion CFU and it's a dietary supplement, clinical grade oral probiotic. And I love it. So that is the birth, Burst Oral Probiotics. Definitely something worth being on your radar. All right, if you're like me and you love, you know, kind of like a pale lip, almost like a sheer white 
kind of lip, nude colored lip. Laneige actually has a lip balm that doesn't look like much in the pan. And it honestly doesn't look like it's that much, but you can kind of tell that it has that little sheer wash of almost like a white. Well, on the lips, it gives this very, very sheer, pale, nude color that is so easy to slap on. I absolutely love this product. I've been using it now for, I don't know, a week or so. It does have fragrance. And it also does have a little bit of like a mintiness to it. Neither one of them bother me at all, but if that bothers you in a lip product, you probably wouldn't like it. What I love the most about it is that it has that hint of a sheer kind of white, and that's not easy to find. You would think you could find that everywhere, but that's actually not that easy to find. Usually they're too, too opaque, or it's too white, or it has a bunch of purple in it, or something like that. This just gives a little bit of a wash of white to kind of pale out the lips for kind of that mod look, and I absolutely love it. Plus, I feel like it is moisturizing, and it's not sticky or anything like that. So that is from from Laneige. This illuminating eye balm from Medicaid is another one that is really, really unique. It is definitely sheer and it's like a balm. And if you're somebody who is trying out some of these new kind of skin tints, like the one from um, Hourglass or the one from Danessa Myricks, those are really sheer and they're like a balm almost. Um, they're a skin tint, but they kind of have that balmy texture to them. That's what this is as well, only in an eye product. Now it is it's a trip because it's super sheer, but it really, really brightens the under eye or all around the under eye without getting into fine lines. It doesn't sink into creases. It doesn't really add like a makeup -y layer. It's really, really interesting. And I think it's because it's just so sheer. You can see through it, but it does a really good job of brightening that area without adding makeup. It's such an interesting and unique product. I have nothing in my skincare or in my makeup that is like it, and I absolutely love it. I love that it's sheer and that it doesn't leave a layer of makeup. It's almost like it's a skincare balm that hydrates a little bit, but it has a little wash of color to it. This would be perfect for somebody who doesn't wear a lot of makeup or doesn't want to wear a lot of makeup, but wants to just lightly brighten up around the eyes. I would also say that this is not going to conceal and cover up dark circles or anything like that, but definitely when used in combination with a color corrector, it could brighten over a color corrector without adding another like layer of makeup. It's just beautiful. Last couple things I want to share with you are makeup. Number one, this is Moira. And I actually heard about this brand from Jen Phelps. Um, I will link her channel and she's amazing. She has an amazing YouTube channel. She also obviously has um, Instagram and all the other things, but my goodness, her makeup reviews and uh, are stellar. So I learned about this brand from her. I picked up this eyeshadow and what it reminds me of is there was a color from Mac and I think they still make it called Club and this is just a beautiful duochrome green and brown and the way that I like to wear this is I actually put some brown like crayon like I use a Laura Mercier crayon smudge it out and then I just dip my finger into this and I put it gently over it is so so pretty and it actually comes off very, very wearable because I'm not really a huge like glitter person or anything at, at my age, but this comes off and it is very wearable on the eyes. Oh, it's so, so pretty, you guys, especially when you put it on over kind of like a base of brown. Anyway, this brand in general is super duper affordable and worth a look. I bought all of mine on Amazon and um, I bought a bunch more, <laughs> bought like four of these. Anyway, very, very affordable makeup brand if you're into trying different makeup and you don't want to spend a ton of money. And so far, the quality of all of them has blown me away. So thank you so much to Jen Phelps for ever introducing me to them because it, as a brand, it just seems super cool and super affordable. Next thing is going to be from Neutrogena. 
I don't actually know how long this has been out, but it is their um, eyebrow pin. Now, if you are somebody who likes to draw on some eyebrow hairs like I do, I have used the Arches and Halo. I have, of course, used the Anastasia pen forever. Well, this Neutrogena pen rivals all of them and it is super affordable. It's like 10 bucks or something like that. So essentially it looks like this and it is simply a fine, fine point pen used to draw hairs onto your eyebrows. And if you are somebody who doesn't have a lot of hair on your eyebrows, this is absolutely amazing to be able to, you know, draw on hairs that look realistic and it is affordable, which is great because the Anastasia is probably, I don't know, 20, $25 and they are, it is equally as good. So I wanted to draw your attention to that as well. Okay, you guys, those are all of my best new discoveries right now. I have other things that I'm testing out that I will definitely bring to you probably in another month or so. I would love to hear anything that is on your radar that you've been testing out, that you've been loving, any recommendations that you have. I will probably pick them up. That is what always happens with these videos. I really do hope you enjoyed this. I hope you're having a wonderful day and I'll talk to you in my next skincare video. Take care.